Agent. Oh, okay. My name is Agent Beamstar. Let's just do it. That hurt. For our first story of the day. So we were at a 2K event in Las Vegas a couple weeks back. It was me, a whole bunch of content creators out there. And uh, the 2K League decided to put out this tweet saying this. Solid crew at hashtag the turn. It's a photo of my beautiful self. Look how luscious and beautiful I am here in that photo. Uh, Troy Dan, Zach, and a whole bunch of other 2K content creators. Now, LD2K decided to respond to that for some reason saying this. What are those? And, and he dropped a photo zoomed in of my beautiful shoes, luscious as sh You can see there's salt marks on there, but it's because I'm from Toronto and I just came from cold weather. We use salt to salt the roads for the ice. Some of y'all just don't know about that. That's probably why. <laughs> I didn't even see this comment till now. Agent is single-handedly bringing back the baggy jeans. <laughs> That's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, anyway, um, Davis replies saying, got him because he likes to use dead memes. And LD2K responded to that saying, Agent Beamstar is gonna roast his ass. So I'm here today, ladies and gentlemen, to let y'all know, Agent's fashion decisions is his own, all right? It's unique and there's nothing wrong with it. I'd say it's a fashionable decision. I'm gonna bring it back, believe me. Uh, that's besides the point though, I just thought it was really funny. For our next story of the day, A is grind time, 2K20 is a few months away. You know what that means, right? That means Ronnie2K is gonna sit there on Twitter promoting all these new job opportunities at NBA 2K. Now I'm gonna tell you what job opportunities the executives need to start creating. Senior developers, we need more developers. All right, we need more of them. But I mean, on a good note, Ronnie2K dropped this tweet. He says, so we've been talking about how we leverage some of the best and most loyal 2K fans to help test the game as we get closer to launches. You guys know the game as well as anyone. That's not true at all, Ronnie. Some of these guys don't know the game at all. Keep them away, all right? So we've created these QA spots. QA is a, I think it's called quality analyst, whatever, it's the fuckers who game test this shit. Definitely think you guys should check it out. So they're looking for some game testers, ladies and gentlemen, interesting. I don't know who they've previously had testing the games, but those guys need to be fired. We need a whole new set of guys. But the interesting part about this, and maybe why I wanted to talk about it, is because when you click on the article and you scroll through it, they say they're only looking for one person, which I don't believe. I don't believe 2K told Ronnie to tweet this out, knowing they only needed one QA tester. They need to be hiring dozens. They need to be hiring hundreds, I swear. And at the, if they do that, the game will come out polished. But if they don't do that, it's gonna be a broken game at launch. Anyway, Ronnie followed up that tweet saying, this could be a great foot in the door with the game you love. You get paid to play 2K early. Excited to put this out there, who's applying? So QA testers, it's a pretty intensive job. And if you mess up, millions of people are gonna let you know. So it, it does mean there's high stakes. And I hope they add people into that position who actually know how to cheat. Because once you get the cheaters, those are the guys who learn how to break the game and they make the game better because you patch it up. That's what I'm saying. In other 2K news, Mike Wang is in the mix because somebody tweeted at him and he had a response. Can we make all bigs have set shots next year? What 7-3 dudes you see jumping 10 feet off the air, off the ground to shoot? Show me two in history and I'll be quiet. Mike Wang responded to that saying, not saying we'll do it, but what do you think the height cutoff should be? And oh Lord, you already know that started a frenzy, man. Everybody's trying to give their opinion on what they think it is. It is true, tall players usually don't jump high off the ground, but it will be a game-changing decision because there's way less set shots than there are regular jump shots. So if stretch bigs are limited to those and none of them are good in 2K20, then it's wraps. Like, it doesn't matter how good you are, you're just not gonna hit your shots. So it's a big decision. And the thing is, Mike Wang will never know which jump shots are gonna be good next year. And so it's kind of like taking a shot in the dark. Uh, some people in the community had some things to say about this, so they went ahead and said it. These MF said, if you 6'11 and up, then you should only get a set shot. Reminds you, these are the same ones who also want unlimited stamina so they can dribble for days. Y'all are the ones who ruin 2K year after year and complain year after year with a whole gang of crying, laughing emojis. So that's Duke Dennis, obviously one of the biggest stretch bigs in the community saying like, yo, we could potentially punt this and absolutely mess it up for everybody. And we don't know how long it's gonna be for 2K to fix that. So it is an important decision. Mike Wang didn't decide on anything, but it wasn't conversation. He was just having that conversation. Mike Wang was like, I'm not done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's stir some more stuff up. And he did that. What are your thoughts on being able to dribble and shoot off check? Swante, the one and only, the Mike Wang whisperer at this point responded saying, listen, bro, I told you this mad times is literally perfect. Let the person guarding the inbounder be able to move. It'll stop most of the inbound no-skill cheese that y'all seem to not be able to pass. Don't add this. 
could cause new cheese to happen. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. I read that, but none of it actually processed in my brain. I have no idea what the f I just read. But Mike Wang responded to that saying, if the inbounding defender isn't locked, but his man is, it will be almost impossible to pass the ball to your teammate. And I believe Poor Boy San and a whole others were dropping like videos under this tweet showing like, hey, look, no, it's happening right here because it was in previous 2Ks. So interesting, they're toying with that idea as well. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, Spencer Dinwiddie is in the news. Hey, from time to time, uh, Mike, Mike Stouff, the guy who does the ratings for 2K gets stuff wrong. And uh, some NBA players have something to say about it. And this time, Spencer Dinwiddie put out a tweet saying this. Just looked at my NBA 2K rating again last night. Y'all so wrong for the left knee durability rating. Now, I don't know what it was. It might have been a 25 or something ridiculous because he put out a tweet about it. But Mike Stealth himself, the guy who manages the ratings for NBA 2K, replied to him saying this. Definitely due for a boost since you haven't missed any games because of the left knee since the original injury years ago. Good catch! And then somebody replied, this is why there needs to be a better look at ratings for players. No, no, it doesn't, all right? That's that's the last thing we need to start hiring and spending time on is ratings. He does a good enough job, Just, you're good. <laughs> that's, we should be worrying about everything except ratings. We're good on the ratings. Um, I thought that was funny. That's why I put that one in there in case you're wondering. So I know a lot of y'all been wondering, Agent, is 2K gonna be at E3? I'm gonna break this down for y'all because this is what I do. I try and help the community, okay? Uh, NBA 2K never goes to E3, but that doesn't mean they might not pull up to E3 this year. Now, E3 is in a couple of weeks, and most of the big developers and publishers and companies are gonna be there showing off their brand new title. So why why isn't NBA 2K there? Well, NBA 2K usually waits for Gamescom in Germany, which is like in late August, which is closer to the launch of their game. But interesting to note, 2K didn't pull up to Gamescom last year. So 2K does have a booth at E3, but it's usually for like executive meetings and things like that. They don't actually show anything off, but this year, I believe they'll be showing off Borderlands 3, which might mean they may be inclined to do some 2K stuff as well. Now, I will tell you guys this, I know 2K League is doing stuff at E3, but I think it's highly unlikely. I'd say the chances that 2K is gonna be playable at E3 is about 5%. The chances we see anything about 2K20 at E3 is about 12%. I say that. Very unlikely, but because things change year over year and they do things differently, there's a possibility. It's just historical patterns are telling us it's just not gonna happen. But I will be most likely at E3, so if you guys are there, pull up, say hi, and, 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 just do that and don't be awkward, man. Some of y'all are real awkward. Just say hi. I'm not a monster. You can talk to me. For our... Oh, man. Guess who's in the news, ladies and gentlemen? Grinding DF. Yep, the one and only. I know, he doesn't try and get in the drama, but this week, I mean, he kind of got in some drama, man. He put out this tweet saying this. Hey, y'all, remember, you don't need a fake videos to succeed. I'll never fake a video for views. Sorry, lol. And he, he linked to a screenshot here of Neon, that guy who's doing those uh, Ronnie 2K Sun videos saying, if you wanna get a Ronnie 2K Sun vid, let me know. I'm gonna say right now, that's a very aggressive way to start a conversation, but I almost respect he came in with that. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Nah, lol, but for real, if you need me to get you a vid, just hit me up. And then Grinding followed up with another screenshot of one of his videos pulling 56,000 real-time views in the first, what is that? It looks like the first hour. That is impressive, by the way. Some big numbers coming out of Grinding. Shout out to him, he's been growing a lot. But of course, that came with some controversy. He made comments about someone else. Of course they had a reply. Actually, before we get to the replies, he tweeted out something else too. Man, I feel like everybody in the community could eat if we just ditch all the toxic mindsets. Somebody else doing well does not hurt your success. You can support their grind while working on yours. You don't need to bring others down to make it to the top. And he dropped the 100 emoji. Now that's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. Some of y'all need to learn from that. I believe that 100%. Badge Pug responded to that tweet saying, someone else's success in the 2K community actually usually should benefit yours. I don't know what he means by that, but he said that, so. Shoot decided to quote tweet that and he said, I mean, you was talking snack about Neon 2K. Follow your own advice, bud. Show me where I talk crazy about him. The two tweets I put out were the one where he tried to get me to fake content for views and other with the caption hilarious original content showing that certain YouTubers pay this man to fake reactions, which I'll never support. I'm not gonna lie, I did screenshot this, but I maybe I just skimmed past it and I missed it. I had no idea dude was getting paid. Hey, that's a, that's a hustle right there. 
He's he's getting these people to pay him to. Okay, that's wild. I did not know that. Shoot responded saying, "Well, them comments bringing him down. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say it." With a innocent smiling emoji. Grinding said, how is it me saying I won't fake videos for views bringing him down? Blast and crying emoji. Lol, sure, that's why you defended him because I think there's a different reason, Shoot. Okay emoji. Shoot responded saying, just saying, leave little buddy alone, that's all. Again, never confronted the kid, but while you at it, make sure to tell all the other YouTuber friends who don't respect what he does the same story, I'll be looking for the same speech. And I'll let you guys know right now, there was some drama in a couple group chats I was in, that's all I'ma say. And that's it for that drama. How about the next story of the day? This one's a quickie, uh, but you guys are gonna wanna see it. I just know you'll enjoy it, cause I know you guys so well at this point. Chamoma, the one and only, decided to drop a tweet saying, Witness Wood gets wrecked by his gaming chair. Get up, Craig. You good, G? And he dropped this video here. <gasps> yes, ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood just flipped off his chair. Now, I've done that a couple times. It's been a trend, bro. 2K content creators and chairs. It's been a theme. Well, either you're chucking it or it's chucking you. One of the two. What do you do? What do you do? He just stole his chair. For our story of the day ladies and gentlemen all right so there's this story here ladies and gentlemen of this character named matthew 2k and he matthew 2k dropped this tweet which started a whole lot of shenanigans he said this i've been working so hard on my channel bro i pray to god i blow up i don't have a dad only a mom my dad passed away in 2010 and i really want to make youtube work so i can help my mom out i don't even have a house i live in my uncle's house in the project. And he dropped this video here of him showing some emotion. I'm gonna let you guys watch it. Yo, you guys don't understand, bro. Like, I'm going through a lot of shit right now, yo. So I was scrolling through Twitter, 3 a.m. I saw his tweet and I clicked on it. I was curious. I do this often, because I like to catch people. I want to see if they're being honest. And I went to his channel, he uploaded daily. I was impressed. He had a horrible mic and he definitely didn't have a capture card. So I was like, hey, why don't I do him this thing? And, and just give him those things. So I decided to tweet at him saying, what's your PayPal? I went to your channel expecting very little activity, but you've been more consistent than my fat ass. Let's get you a new mic and an Elgato, man. Keep pushing. I didn't think much of it, ladies and gentlemen. When I'm doing things like this, I like to do it anonymously because I don't want to deal with any potential drama that comes with it. I'm gonna tell you all this. When PewDiePie a few months ago shouted out those 20 YouTube channels and one of them had some OD racist shit going on and the media Try to kill PewDiePie. I'm telling you right now, every YouTuber was sitting back watching it just like this. Like, okay, all right. So you gotta be careful now. Cause when you promote somebody or help somebody, you gotta vet them to make sure everything is all right with them. Now I wasn't thinking like that. He seemed like a nice guy. He was going through a lot and he just needed a couple pieces of equipment. And trust me, my videos were like that when I started off. So I've had some sympathy for the guy. Well, overnight, a lot of things happened. The guy went to school and he was dropping like these thank you videos. Like, man, I was he gained like over a thousand subscribers. He dropped this tweet saying, I don't care what any of y'all say, posting a bit of me crying because I was depressed about life and about my YouTube is a hard thing to do. I know I'm gonna get haters commenting and supporting comments. So y'all can't say nothing because posting that is hard. And his channel began to see some growth. I guess this blew up overnight. Well, blew up. It started to gain some traction and uh, more and more people were subscribing to his YouTube channel. And so that's great for him. And he was like baffled by it. And he was saying all these thank yous. Thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. I've been grinding, but it came with some controversy. There was a lot of people saying, all right, agent, so you gonna support this guy because he went on here crying about his situation and making excuses. But there's way more other people here that deserve it more than he has or that were more consistent, or that dropped better videos, or that have been doing it for way longer. So I was like, God damn, hold on, no. <laughs> it's like, it's, whoa, who y'all coming at me for? All right, so check this out. I made a donation last week to a family that I thought needed it because they went through a tragedy. It was a horrible situation. Now, there's probably millions of families in the world that have been through way worse, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't or can't show love to this family for what they're going through. I don't know them at all. Because if that was the case, then I shouldn't be donating to anybody in North America because we have it way better than a lot of these other countries in the world. So I'm not gonna let those comments like that stop me from sh giving others opportunities when I see the chance. But I also don't have an obligation to give to anybody. It's my money. Anyway, things kind of picked up and evolved from there because some people decided to post videos of the same Matthew character being toxic on NBA 2K saying, Yo, that's that wholesome guy? That's that guy you support and that's him? So initially this video was posted on Twitter from this character saying, I'm gonna leave this here, say goodbye, have no mercy, I don't give a fuck. my life is terrible, but I wake up every day and try and change it. I don't make videos bashing people and then when everybody hates me, I turn around and cry for people to forgive me. 
hate me or not, I don't give a f Leaving this here, y'all know what to do. I don't know what to do, but I guess we could watch the video and find out what we need to do. You guys, man, truly angel, you're truly angel, you were but I f with you though. When you had like bro, when you got your clout, dude, like you just changed, bro. But like it's a good though. It's it's a good. And yo, Angel, just remember, I rated you, right? I rated you. I used to put I used to put a lot more viewers than you, my guy, and I rated you, bro. So like remember that too, alright? Yo, luck, you a whole ass. <laughs> but you know, keep grinding though. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he laugh like that? He laughed like he was trying to impersonate a rapper at the beginning of a track. So at first, everybody sees this and they're like, yo, what the hell is going on? This guy's toxic as And then Neon decided to jump into the mix, who apparently also had beef with this St. Matthew guy, and he said this. I don't care what you say about me, but when you say you're gonna kill my mom, dot, 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 somebody responded to that saying, folks are toxic, keep your head up. Neon responded to that saying, guess who it was too? To Icy Matthew, the kid who been with me since the start. And he posted this video. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna put that in the video. I'm gonna keep it being with y'all. So he basically said he would do this to Neon and his mother. Insane. All right, so I wanna provide some context, right? How do I do this without flexing? The reality is, is I can't do this without flexing because I wanna provide some context. Usually when I come home and I'm exiting the 401, there's homeless people to the side. I drop my window and I'm not even tossing ones and twos, I'm be tossing like 20s. And so they get mad gas when they see my vehicle. Now they could be doing crazy things, buying drugs, alcohol with the money if they want to, but they could also be making decisions to improve their lives. It's none of my business and I don't give money with expectations. I just give money to give them the opportunity to make that decision. That's all I ever do. And that's what I did in this situation. Now, I didn't feel betrayed or nothing like that. I know stuff happens. We've all said crazy things. Listen, I've been in those Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. <sighs> Let's not get into that. And so, I, 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 the same way I wouldn't want people treating me by my worst moment, I didn't do it to him. Um, he dropped a couple videos saying like, yo, those are old videos and he's not like that no more. That's not to say that that dissolves any previous toxic behavior, but it's possible that people change, especially at a young age. The dude is in high school. So I felt for the guy, all he did was pour his heart out, and I get that that's a cheesy way to gain attention, and there's plenty of people that just deal with their problems, but that's how he decided to vent. And out of nowhere, luck of the draw, I just see the tweet and I decided to help out. So there was a whole lot that came from that and a lot of 2K content creators, but I don't want this story to be forever long. So I'm gonna just cut it at that. Ladies and gentlemen, all I wanna say is, I'm not gonna stop doing good because some people got mad I did it for quote unquote the wrong person. Just do good with no expectations, hoping to improve the situation of people around you. In my last video, I showed love to a guy Caucasian Drizzy. I just randomly came across him on Twitch, pulled up against him, and he was a cool dude. Link to in the description. Just because some people get mad because you didn't give it to them, doesn't mean you should stop giving. I think I learned that lesson. Anyway, I just want to bring up the drama because that's all everybody was talking about today on Twitter. Shout out to the guy, I hope he grows his channel. I hope he improves, gets his videos up, all that good stuff. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, I don't usually do this, but there's some drama in the my team community, man. All right, let's get into it. Ambus dropped this tweet on Twitter and it started a whole lot of shenanigans. I say Big C Richie is over party, but nobody gives a f about this idiot anyways. You're not entertaining. You're not good at the game. You're 80 years old with kids and a wife upset because kids are less than half your age making more money than you. Get over yourself, dude. And he linked to a screenshot of this character here in some Twitch chat saying, I think it's disgusting these guys are making tons of money and taking advantage of their viewers that spend the money. He followed up on the bottom here saying, YBC, Afro, Denver, all of them make more money than me and they are borrowing accounts, GTFO. So if you guys haven't caught on, basically he's saying, instead of buying packs and stuff so they can build up their own team, these YouTubers are playing on subscribers accounts that are letting them hop on their account for the content and he's not feeling it. He thinks that you should be the one to play on your own account and you shouldn't, you shouldn't be on nobody else's. Richie responded on Twitter saying, I do find it funny everyone is coming back to 2K. It's not a bad thing because the community growth is at least a plus, but stick through the thick and thin. Shout out to the ones that stuck through it the whole year. I see clout chasers, hashtag be loyal. Uh, some guys in the comments saying, just at me, dude. LMAO, they the ones with clout, so how are they chasing it? Okay, I see this being said a lot. It hasn't really happened in 19 because all the 2K YouTubers are still uploading 2K. But in 18, it definitely happened where some people felt like just because they uploaded 2K18 the whole year, that they, for some reason, didn't betray the game. No, upload whatever you want to upload. Whatever it is you want to upload, do that. Jesus, man. How could you feel entitled? They, they left, but I was just here posting the whole time. 
That doesn't make you interesting or good. Cut that out. Uh, luckily for the park side of things, since 2K19 has been a much better game than 18, we haven't had to deal with that. And keep in mind, this is coming from a guy who didn't leave to upload other things. I've been uploading 2K. Afro decided to respond because his name was mentioned. He said this on Twitter. You're a grown ass man hating on others because they on the come up and not spending enough money on 2K. Stop complaining about what others do. Keep my name out your fucking mouth and stop hating on some kids for no damn reason. And Afro was like 18. So Christopher London decided to get into the mix and he said this. I think it's disgusting that these guys are making tons of money and taking advantage of their viewers that spend money. How dare y'all shout out channels that grinded harder than you for content, not spending all your time and money on the game. I love more than anything. Hashtag I'm 30. I could be wrong, but I'm almost certain he's being sarcastic here. Here's the next tweet. <laughs> Don't you dare bring my family into this. Do you know what it's like not giving your six year old a sack of lunch because daddy didn't pull a Galaxy Opal that week? Of course you don't, because you content creators borrow accounts. Disgusting. Hashtag content scammers. <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty sure he's being sarcastic. Um, and basically everybody was like, bro, you're bugging. Just because you decide you wanna spend all your money on an account doesn't mean everybody else should have to do the same thing. It takes a ton of time to create a player on the park or to grind a team and have this insane mic. Actually, it doesn't even take time on my team. It just takes money. And so if, a con if one of your subscribers are like, yo, use this, I want you to use it, then why would you say no to that? You would have to be a horrible content creator to say no to that. They're giving you their account because first of all, it gets featured on the video. And so a lot more people see their username and will recognize it. But two, because they enjoy your content and they wanna see more of it. So it's not crazy and it's not cheating and it's not, there's no betrayal, cut it out, man. This is this is nonsense. But I do wanna address that. Uh, I thought it was a funny story coming out of the My Team community. There's not much drama in the My Team community. There's not much to cover most of the time, but there was this. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been it for the news. Hey, drop a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, or I'll never drop another one of these. I'm kidding. I'll probably drop more. You guys know me. <laughs> um, I'm out.